and hello everyone uh, welcome back to our open form discussion in the last video we just uploaded uh, just uploaded this onto github so this is uh, now up to date with the uh, origin master again you can uh, get to uh, um, download this file uh, from the github uh, repository uh, showed you how to do a shallow clone in the last video so you don't end up with errors so if you're not sure, please go and look again and just uh, do a shallow clone of this repository so that you won't have a you know, file, file is too big, then you cannot clone. Alright, <coughs> anyway, so um, we have actually just uh, deleted lots of files here and now we want to copy over into um, another folder. So we'll call this folder piezo foam snappy pipe. Okay. And why why is it called piezo foam? And again, this is one of the uh, algorithms which is used to uh, do turbulent uh, flow modeling. So as said before, we are going to try to uh, clean everything up, and then we want to regenerate the mesh. Hopefully this time without a without a, you know the, the the jagged edges problem, and one of the ways we can do that is uh, using a coarser mesh. Now what do I mean by that? Okay, so let's say you you have this. Uh, I'll show you straight lines instead. You have this block, all right? You have this block. You go one two three and i'm just going to draw a rough block for us so remember we had a block which encased a cylinder of sorts however your block may be uh, i didn't quite draw it so to scale but uh initially we had a very fine block if i'm not wrong it's a 20 by 20 block all right so you have about uh, 400 here, 400 uh, uh, faces or cells within this, uh, within this area, right? You have about 400 cells, it's a 20 by 20 kind of a grid array. So 400 thereabout. Um, yeah, so when we inserted our cylinder, right? Okay, we inserted our cylinder and then you know snappy hex mesh is going to see we're going to see the process right okay i'll zoom out snappy hex mesh is going to see where this uh let's say you have a flat boundary here and then you see a grid okay let's say you start with a small grid And then it's going to, uh, it's going to divide up the grid. Okay, for example, something like that, according to the refinement parameters we've given it. Okay. So next thing is all right. Um, well, there's only a certain level of refinement we can achieve before we have too many cells, right? So if we make this starting grid. Uh, you no, know, very very small, like maybe a twenty by twenty or even a forty by forty. Uh, we are going to end up with a lot of cells, and it's going to put a big strain on computational power. And the thing about snappy hex mesh is that it tends to, you know, uh, overload. Yeah, our copying is done. It tends to overload and then cause the computer to hang. So we might want to bring up you know task manager at the side just to give you an idea of how much computation power snappy hex mesh is doing. Okay, so I'll just I'll just leave the task manager here. Okay, so there are two things with a big, uh, small, uh, very fine uh, block mesh. Firstly, uh, you have too many cells, right? Too many cells. So maybe we want to start with a coarser grid. Alright, maybe we want to start with a coarser grid, right? 
And you know what's the other problem? Uh, the other problem is that if your cells are small, right? So again, if I if I do this, if your cells are already so small, and then you don't use the refinement uh, property to, let's say, get you know a very fine cell surface, you don't have many levels of refinement, too few, few refinements. You have too few refinements, then you're gonna have that jagged edges. All right. So what do I mean by that? Okay, so you have this arbitrary surface here, right? And then you have a grid that is maybe orange. And let's say you don't refine. If you don't refine, you're gonna have a jagged surface. You have a jagged, you maybe you have a hole here. If this whole cell is taken out, you have this hole here, and then if you want to snap this hole to the surface, snappy hex mesh is going to get a very difficult time. A very difficult time because there's this hole here. Snappy hex mesh doesn't exactly know what to do to make this uh, boundary exactly at the surface. That's if you don't refine. So this is no refinement, right? Or no refinement or not sufficient refinement. So if your refinement is not sufficient we will have this problem of the jagged edges. So um, the refinement process is important. So we have two goals here, two goals. So one is to uh, refine, refine enough. Okay, you want to refine enough so that the, it will snap to the surface properly. The the cells will snap to the surface and follow this properly. All right, two, you don't want, want too many cells. So there's too many cells, right? You don't want too many cells. Why? Because the computation power is uh, too much for us to handle. So with these two things in mind, let's get to uh, design uh, or new block mesh file all right so i'll do a all clean first all right i'll do an all clean and uh, let's see we want to remove all the star.log files so that will clean all the log files out okay so let's see the mesh generation. And uh, S, okay, so this is a VI. So let's see the mesh generation file. Ah, okay, so we started with an all clean, and then we started with a block mesh that goes into a block mesh.log, uh, snappy hex mesh into a snappy hex mesh.log. Okay, so. Uh, first, I want to make some refinements, of course, to this. Uh, I want to use the application. Okay. Quit all, so no saving. I want to take a look at the all clean. See, um, I want to do it like this, where instead of the clean functions, you have the run functions, very similar to what we did with potential form. So, and... Uh, we want to start with, uh, all right. Yeah, we want to start uh, doing something similar to our potential form, right? So we have a zero file. I mean, this is to help smoothen out the running. We have a zero file, and then we have a you know zero dot original and all that kind of stuff. So we want to carry on. Let's make it such that it's very friendly for uh, uh, to run. Let's make it such that it's very similar to the rest of our open form files that we see in the tutorial folder. Okay, because if you see the, the form tutorials, okay, we go to basic uh, potential form.
we look at the all red all right look at this uh, you see it's a very clean copy oh series i think haha <laughs> so siri was activated there we go let's um so we want to have a run file that's very similar to this i'm just going to copy everything down of course we'll have a very different uh, case in in there so the advantage of course of having this run file as we written like that is very is that it's very consistent with you know our open form tutorial files and also we we don't want uh, we we want you know the logs that are being generated to be of a standardized version all right so remember when we do, did our all run with a potential form it generated logs in a very specific way and that matched really well um, with the all clean function because it will just delete all the logs automatically so it's way more convenient to be doing it like that using the run functions rather than you know just a simple uh, yeah just a simple uh, uh, yeah execution of the script so let's do the mesh generation first all right so we have it all clean so we first run block mesh as usual so instead of that uh, I will have this here so we first restore zero directory okay that's normal we have an all clean first this pound sign here the hashtag it represents a comment so we do a restore zero directory so it will copy the zero original to the zero directory so this one we can delete so I press a dd there so I'm going to write run application snappy hex mesh the tab doesn't really help here overwrite okay run application topo set run application create patch overwrite and uh, the rest is the same the touch snappy pipe dot form is the same so this is the a bridge version okay not a bridge version so yeah this is just rewriting the run file to make the to make the you know uh, running of applications more standardized and again I'll, I'll, I'll copy this over and I'll edit the run file so uh, run application I go from then I'll just put an end sign here or maybe I just do it I go from here just to make it standard with the rest so did status all right so I want to carry on did add because uh, I want to change I want to change this into the uh, the run file run file and mesh generation file changed or script so the run script and the mesh generation are changed all right all right so git push origin master 